You know, I'd say I'd be hoping for a lot longer videos at this point, but... Yeah, I mean, look at the games I'm basically playing at this point. They're all lower rank, so... There's a good chance they may not have much depth to them. Alright, so I guess the next one I'll be playing here will be Rogue Linear, 70 RL, by 10 to 10 games. Watch the move, attack, space to wait, left click on inventory to equip or use item, left click on items on the ground to loot, right click on unwanted items to discard, hover on titles, enemies, and bones to see info. Full screen is recommended. And it's just by one guy, so... We'll see if this guy anything to it or not. And... there's issues. It could be because I'm playing in Chrome, who knows. Press R to begin. Alright, so we're moving around. We've got a mushroom in our inventory. We're rogue. The rogue hits the imp. This is an imp up here. The imp dies. I lost 2 HP doing that, but it's fine. So it is turn based. I actually hover over stuff basically see, like, you know, information on it. So, this is a zombie. It's got an HP of 8. It's got damage of 2. Garrus is bones. So, it's got dagger, damage 7 to 13, banana, and heal. So, we can pick this stuff basically up here. Ban will heal me for a little bit. The dagger is better than a club. So, we'll take the, you know... The dagger. A rogue hit the bandit for seven damage. This guy's a bandit. So I'll note that basically, like you know, from the onset here, the major like you know issue of this game would basically have is the fact that all the enemies basically the same sprite. And that's not really great, but whatever. So we got ourselves an axe here for 8 to 15 damage. Another banana. So... Let's drop the club. I'll take the banana. We'll drop the dagger. We'll take the, um, the axe. There's an even better axe, so we'll take this axe. But yeah, this is like the thing. This is not a bad graphic set, but I mean, there's only like two graphics basically here, so there's that. Uh, here's a ghost. It basically has a club with uh, five, five, um, 14 damage. So it looks like basically the like um, I'm ba I'm basically have random like damage outputs. This is a throw out there. I suppose I have like fixed ones. Oh, as long as I stay in a bush, this guy can't see me. So. That's maybe going a little bit high, um, like overboard. Okay, there goes that goblin. There's another banana. It heals for six this time. So I'm not really against like the idea of like having like a mouse based like relic like this. Is like you know, um, I feel like it's experience based to play, but it definitely needs to have more basically done to it. In terms of like you know, um, by the way, can I can apparently scroll this. It needs to have like more like you know graphics basically done to it, so you basically differenti differentiate like you know enemies here. Maybe like you know when you're basically like you know chasing around guys like this, they're a little bit less keen to like you know um, lose track of you. And they're like you know a little bit more capable of basically chasing you down. There's an apple, we'll take that. I'll note that it seems like it's a very basic premise, it's like hack slash and heal food, so... It lost track of me by the way, so it can't see me anymore. There goes the orc.
I sort of feel like this needs a hunger clock to stop, stop you boost, basically, so... They aren't as, like, you know, capable of basically, like, you know, failing to find me every so often. Apparently it takes a turn by way to heal up, like, uh, use items like this. Not a thief probably, maybe the thief could steal items, who knows. Um... This was called Rogue Linear Dungeon, I think it was, the name here. Yeah, Rogue Linear. So, I was about to say, it seems a little bit li linear. It is, cause it's, it is linear, so... I can't really blame them, blame them for um, having, like, you know... A linear dungeon when that's the purpose of the game. The goblin, zombie died, goblin died. I'll take that sword. That's a ghoul, apparently. Let's heal up a little bit. The bandit hit the road for 6 damage. The bandit died. Let's heal up a little bit. Hit the thief. I killed the thief. Killed the skeleton. Alright, so here's got a weapon that's basically, like, you know, got a longer range. So I could have, like, you know, 12 to 26 or 14 to 24. The troll. That's a troll right there. And yeah, I'll note the major problem with this game is you have to mess over stuff basically to get the information about him, so... Definitely that could be improved. There's a ghoul. Another ghoul. I think the enemies have Ramai's like, you know, damage outputs and HP as well. There's a sword. And yeah, I could keep hiding in the bushes and stuff like that, but let's just like, you know, push on here a little bit at this point, so. Ooh, 15 to 38 damage on a dagger. Take that. I'm actually kind of low on HP here, so let's heal up a little bit. Some bread. There's our sword. I suppose the quick question to ask here is like, is there any like, you know, end to this game or is this keep like, you know, indefinitely going here? Is there a boss basically? Uh, 15 to 41 sounds a lot better than like, you know, Mushroom, a sword. There's a mace, so that's a different weapon, finally. There goes that bandit. That bandit's dead. Teal up a little bit. There's a goblin, it's dead. There's a sword, but it's weaker than mine, so whatever. Mace, club, whatever. Seal up a little bit more. Probably running out of food, because, like, you know, I'm being, like, less, like, you know, safe here. So I suppose I don't have to fight these guys, but it makes sense to. 
There's a spear. This guy injured? No, he's not injured. There we go. Heal up a little bit more. Sort of walked into that attack, but oh well. Yeah, once they lose sight of you, they basically, you know, are helpless basically to really fight you. Unless you, like, you know, are being, like, make mistakes and stuff. Get the troll. The troll's dead. Oh! It's a big troll. I assume a big troll can hit a little bit harder. Yeah, 16 to 22 in this guy. I have a 40 damage this guy. 15 damage. He's dead. So there's this mace, a very big mace. So eventually you do like get like these like you know tougher guys as you go along, but you know. You win! Alright, well, um I, I won't say, like, you know, it's got, like, bad, like, you know, sort of controls and stuff like that, but it needs a lot more. That's all I can really say. I'm sure that's basically where it lost all its points, by the way, as well. Just in the fact there wasn't anything to it. Uh, rogue, linear. So, yeah, basically, like, you know, someone dropped a little bit on, like, you know... Well, they dropped it uh, on, like, polish, of all things, because, you know, that's, what, uh, like, you know, worth dropping it on. Um, aesthetics, mostly clear enough, though we would be pearl as they had different enemy sprites, because, you know... Obviously, that's like, you know, needs to be done. Fun. Hack, slash, run around looting, not much expression or strategy yet. So, yeah, it's basically just hack and slash, not really much more than that. Innovation, very basic. Scope. I agree with the guy who put it down to one, because, you know, there's just nothing here. And yeah, roll like this, basically, like, you know, it's got perma, it's got, you know, ram duration, but it's just very, like, linear, so. There are no other potions, I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm putting, putting the wrong thing here. So yeah, lots of really features here, plus great tiles. And then scope. So, it looks like they like gave him like high marks for like a relicness, which I actually find a little bit like, you know... It's a little too simple, I think, for to call this a relic. It is technically a relic, but... I'd probably drop that down to, two, two, to a 2 for like the lack of depth. I do agree with scoping, like, you know, drop down to 1.5, innovation, fun. It just needs a more, this game. Like, this is a very good, like, prototype, but you need to actually add the content to it now. Alright, well, that's basically Rogue Linear 70 RL. Hope you guys basically enjoyed it, and, well, take care. Not much more to say about this one.